think, you know, a lot of questions I would get is, why do you want to become a physician? I think part of it, too, when I was applying for schools, I knew that I wanted to be an osteopathic physician. Back then, and I don't know if it's still the same now, it was kind of like a fallback. It, people thought it was easier to get into an osteopathic mm -hmm. medical school than allopathic school. Um, and so a lot of times I think they were trying to get at, is this something, do you really want to practice osteopathic mm -hmm. medicine or is this kind of, are you just trying to get in and get out <laughs> any way you can sort of thing? Um, so I, I think that was the main, one of the major ones. Interesting, yeah. interesting. How did you respond to that question when you were, when you were asked it? Um, I think the same way that I responded when, I, when you first asked what interested me um, is that I at heart really wanted to be an osteopathic physician mm -hmm. and I still practice it. Um, and I, you know, I have patients that come in and say, you know, you treated me the last time and it was like magic. And, mm -hmm. and so, you know, it's great. It feels great when you can have somebody come in or leave your office feeling better than when they came in without having to prescribe medication. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Dr. Simpkins, what about you? Well, we don't have that. <laughs> we, we Western doctors don't have anyone feeling better when they walk out. But they leave with a lot of pieces of paper. You know, they have a lot of papers, but they're not feeling so better yet. I think, really, if I were interviewing medical student candidates now, I really, I would get at the core of really what it is about medicine that attracts you now. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think all your future students have to think about. Everything in the press is negative. Everything, mm -hmm. right? Affordable Care Act is negative. Going into primary care is negative. Student loans, negative. The cost of medical school, negative. So then, if all these negatives, really at the end of the day, what is it that why do you want to be a doctor? And you can't say in your medical school interview, because I want to help people, because I want, <laughs> really, please don't say that. No. The, I mean, but I really think if, if people can really think about that, like what is it about being a doctor? Like, I think about it every day that I think it makes me a better person every day to be able to help other people. I have learned tremendous amount of empathy mm -hmm. by taking care of people. I learn from my patients. I really feel that it is a, a relationship unlike, you know, any, I mean, it's really like a marriage, a patient and a doctor. And you have to, as a medical student, going into the field of medicine, want to be in another relationship, because that's what it is. And if you don't take it seriously that this is a relationship, a bond that you want to form, then you're in the wrong field. Mm -hmm. So I think that that would be something for medical students to think about and in their interviews bring out, because I really feel that there's so many negatives out there, so that young blood now should really be thinking about what they can bring that's positive to the field of medicine, because it breaks my heart that the only thing in the news is negativity. Because mm -hmm. we do it every day because we love it, mm -hmm. and we really... I don't want to see that end. I want to see that kind of have a resurgence of new people bringing new things.